In this video, we're going to explore how can we increase the size of our font awesome icons here in Chart.js. So let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to look and how to increase the font awesome icon size in Chart.js. So the first thing what we need to do is we need to go here to chartjs3.com getting started this specific link which you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, just scroll down and get the boiler template which you can find here. So copy all of this and if you want to understand that code please watch this video here that explains it all. So then I'm going to paste this in there, cut out this and put the title in here. Save, refresh. Maximize the size of this and let's say here 80% save, refresh. All right, so what I want to do here basically is put in the font awesome. However, we're not allowed to use classes here and the reason why is because a canvas is not CSS. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to make sure that the font awesome icons are being recognized because we didn't load the file here. here in uh, We didn't load the file at all. So let's start to do that first. So for that, just go to here, just go to cdnjs.com, search for the font awesome library, and I'm going to grab a very specific library, which is version 4.7. Very basic library, and it's a bit of an older version, but it works fine, and it tends to work best. While the other versions might work, but sometimes it just have some bugs, or at least it just doesn't work the way you expect it should be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one here, just click on this here, and once we have that, what I'm going to do is just reload this one. We can load this somewhere here on the header because we don't want to, uh, this is not a JavaScript file, so that should be fine. So if I save this now, and now what I want to do is I want to start to make sure that the canvas can recognize this font awesome library. How can we do this? Well, we have to work here with so-called font families. So to do this, what I want to do is I want to grab here this, copy this, and then I'm going to just grab this new tab here, put it in there. There you are. And now you can see here we get the font awesome library. We get all the information, but we are going to grab here the font family name. This becomes very important. If you have a higher version, it might have this, and depending on certain icons, they have like a separate font family name for that. So you have to really dig deep into that. So that's why it makes it a bit more complicated compared to version 4.7 that has just a single font family name, which is font awesome with capital F, capital A. All right, we're going to grab this one here. Then what I want to do is we want to recognize this font family. So to recognize this, this font family, all we have to do here is to make sure that we have the default font family as font awesome as well. So basically, we're just going to say which font families we want to load by default. To do this, all we do is here, we're going to say chart with capital C. This is very important. This is a built-in object name in chart.js library. So we have to make sure you have this. And then we're going to say the defaults. Once we have the defaults, we're going to say dot font dot family, basically indicating we want to specify which font family we want to use by default on all the charts that are loading here. So what we're going to do here is basically going to do here a double quotation. This is very important. And then what I want to do is I want to specify the specific font family. So in this case, I want to have for the text, I want to have sun, sun serif, which is the default font family. So we have the same font family, at least the design of these. This is very important. So if we save this now and just refresh, you can see nothing truly happens. We could change this and we can just say here, Arial. And if I save this now, refresh, and I do notice that it hardly changes. Maybe I need to make sure that there's a, uh, a single quotation around this. This can be very important. So make sure you check this. And apparently it just doesn't respond at all. So probably because the font family size are quite similar, I guess, or something like that. Anyway, let's try another one. Uh, let's remove the single quotations. And the reason why I removed the single quotation, it will always depend on the a CSS font family and I guess the new times Roman is not necessary for that so if I save this then we get these uh, basically these numbers or characters with these attaches at the or basically the wings at the sides I guess these are uh, sans serif or serif font types it's, uh, I guess the serif font types sans, sans serif would mean without these kind of wing, wings basically that's basically the core of it Anyway, 
you can see here it's a different type so let's remove this because I want just here to have the sans serif put a comma in here what I want as well is the font awesome so how do we know if we have the font awesome in a uh, quotation or not you can see here how it's being spelled here the font family without quotation if there would be a quotation in that case you need to put it here uh, sorry if it's without quotations then it would be just font fam font awesome but now we need to copy it including the quotation marks here single quotation marks so we have them here let's put that like that so if i do this save then refresh here nothing happens yet but if i go down here and let's say we want to change monday and monday will be a very nice character or icon let's go and search for an icon here so let's say here the day icon i have no idea we have here the sun well all right let's get on sunday i guess the sun icon for this we're going to work with javascript and the javascript doesn't recognize these uh, classes on css so what we need to use is the unicode here very important this is the one we need so we're going to grab this and then let's do instead of sunday or monday we're going to grab here on sunday so this is still a string but what we're going to do here is a backslash and then we're going to say here u for uniform and then we have these characters here once we do this if i save this now refresh now we have the sun here but you might say oh, hold on it's very hard to read i want to maximize the size well let's maximize the size on everything basically we're working still with a font family to maximize the size of this or on everything here all we have to do here is to say font family or font size we will increase this so how do you do this default charts.default.com font dot size equal and let's say here 30 pixels save this once we save this refresh and there you are you can see the font family or the font size has increased but also the icon as well so basically it's the same logic and that's basically how to do it so if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to do some more items for example put a font awesome in here in that case i'm going to recommend you this video here on how to use font awesome in chart.js it will show you how to put the font awesome icons in here in the uh, legend and also in the tooltip itself